So, I opened up my E8 Emacs controller. Came with my Tiny Hawk 3 ready to fly kit. Problem was, it was going into runaway mode and would not let me arm or fly. Drew all of my four days of searching and studying and YouTube videos and reading on Reddit. I realized when I plugged it into Beta Flight, my tiny, tiny Hawk, when I plugged into Beta Flight and I turned the controller on, under the controller module or controller section, whatever, it showed that my yaw was like full blast, full blast when it wasn't being touched. So the model of the drone would just literally spaz and Tasmanian devil style twisting like a tornado on screen. I shut the remote off, it would stop. Turn it back on and you could see the stick position when I put it in Velocidrone to see if I could use the controller still in a simulator. Even in Velocidrone it showed the stick simu the stick position being stuck to the right fully at all times. I opened it up because they're in the process of diagnosing the issue with the yaw, I dropped my controller like a dumbass, and I popped the beeper auxiliary switch popped inside. I have since retrieved what I believe is all of the components to rebuild it, hopefully. I see how this other one works. I see the... plug here is still intact. All of these pieces are still intact and work when I put them together. So I should be able to rebuild the switch. I was trying to figure out why my yaw was fucked up. I opened it up. I seen this white wire was free floating. I stripped the end a minute ago because I'm going to find a way without a soldering gun to at least temporarily rehook that connection and hopefully be able to use my controller while I wait for Emacs to let me know about warranty or whatever happens. But if you have a yaw problem and you've never dropped your controller, it's probably was a crappy connection in here like mine.